Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion brings us to Isaac and Rebecca and to their home life and the story of their family. Their family, like ours, was not perfect. In fact, you could arguably call theirs the first really dysfunctional home that we learn about in Torah. Although, Adam and Eve had their challenges with Cain and Abel too, so maybe not the first. At any rate, Rebecca and Isaac have twins, twin boys who fight in the womb and who are very different from each other. One is a much more macho kind of guy, the other is a homebody. And the parents, to their fault, play favorites. Now, those of us who are parents, and those of us who are children, which pretty much includes all of us, know what it feels like to be either to be, either to be the favorite or to not be the favorite. And pretty much all of us have experienced at one moment or another that feeling of being the favorite child or not being the favorite child. Rebecca and Isaac, it seemed, never understood that or comprehended it because they allowed their children to rule the roost and they allowed that fight to ensnare the whole family. And so it's easy to say, well, Rebecca was a terrible mother because she played favorites and she helped Jacob, or Isaac you know, encouraged Esau and all of that. But I want to, for a moment, consider that maybe the issue wasn't that they were playing favorites, it was that they were really poor parents. And the challenge comes for us, not when our children are doing well, but when our children are having problems and difficulties. Do we respond to them as parents, being willing to be stern and strict sometimes, and say no to our children? Or do we let them get away with anything and encourage them? And for me, that's the much more troubling piece of this Torah portion where Rebecca could have stepped in and said, no, Jacob, this isn't the right thing. I am your mother, and I'm going to show you right from wrong. She doesn't do it. And when Isaac steps in, could, doesn't step in and do anything, there's an equal problem. Isaac could have said, you know, Esau, you have your strengths, and Jacob has his, and it's okay. They're different, but they're both okay. He doesn't do that. Instead, he favors one over the other. And so the parents aren't willing to step in and say to their children, you're right or you're wrong. And in our world, we see that all the time. Parents who want to be their child's friend rather than their parent. Parents who aren't willing to say no to their child. Parents who are too afraid to pick a fight with their child because they don't want to put up with the whining or the crying. When in reality, our children more than anything need us as parents to be just that, parents. They have plenty of friends at school, in the community but they need role models who can help them learn right from wrong, who will keep them on the right path, and who will say to them, no, this isn't the right thing, and you're going to have to work through it. That's the important lesson for me. It is all about seeing the role of parents. Now, I have to admit, I'm the father of three children, and I look at this text differently today than I did 30 years ago, or 20 years ago, or 10 years ago, before I had children. But that, too, is the beauty of Torah. We keep returning to this sacred scripture it doesn't change, but we do. And so next year when I look at this, I'll probably be seeing something different than what I see this year. This year I see the role of parent. And I hope you'll see that too. Shabbat services are a wonderful time for parents and children to come together. And I hope you'll join us Friday evening at 6 o'clock. Services will take place here at the temple. Our Shirat Shalom singers, our young children who are part of a choir, will join us and help lead us in worship. It promises to be a wonderful and lovely evening. Saturday morning, we have text study at 9, Torah study at 10, services at 11. Uh, Sunday morning, religious school as usual. And next Tuesday, our Goldenberg series will continue with a wonderful concert. For now, though, I wish you a Shabbat filled with family. Not necessarily peaceful, calm family, but family at its finest. Family means arguing with each other. It means wrestling. It means not always agreeing. It means being frustrated sometimes but it also means accepting the humanity of each other, the holiness of each other, and working to nurture and encourage each other. One last word, if you get the chance, join us Saturday evening. The Federation is hosting a wonderful friend-raising program at the most. Promises to be a great evening. It's a great time to teach our children why community is so important. I'm planning to be there, and I hope you'll join us too. For now, a Shabbat of family and all that that entails. Look forward to seeing you at the temple. Shabbat Shalom.